Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and today, we're headed for Mille Lacs Lake. And it feels good to be about three or four weeks deep into the ice fishing season now. You know, those first couple weeks when the ice first starts to form, everybody is really excited to get out there on the ice, us here at End Up Outdoors included. But very often what happens is the ice conditions just aren't ready to let you get where you really want to go. That's kind of behind us now. Uh, so here on Mille Lacs Lake, we're going to show you something pretty special here today. You know, every year as we get into the ice season, you start to get a feel for where the really good bites are going to take place. And I'm not going to tell you the hottest bite in ice fishing is happening right now on Mille Lacs Lake. But what I'm going to tell you is it's really good. If you're looking to get in on a good bite, you could not do better than what's happening on Mille Lacs Lake right now. So we're going to be fishing with Brad Hawthorne and Will Roseburg. And you're going to notice that we're pretty close to shore yet. Uh, we've got about eight, nine inches of good ice. However, out in the middle of the lake, out around the mud flats, that's where everybody tries to get early in the season. There's been a lot of shifting ice out there, a lot of cracking. So that's a no-go zone for at least another week. So keep that in mind. If you're going to hit Mille Lacs Lake, this shoreline stuff, it's really set up nice. The fish are there. The bite's hot but everybody wants to get up to the mud, I would check with your bait shops or your resorts before you make an attempt at that. So stick around. You're going to see one of the very best walleye bites we've ever shown here on In-Depth Outdoors today with Will Roseberg and Brad Hawthorne. One thing about Mille Lacs, it has the most beautiful sunrises. I don't think I've ever had a lake that I enjoy waking up to more. There we go. There was no question that that guy wanted that jigging wrap. You got one going, Brad? To do. It's not a tanker, not a tanker by any means, but when they're eating the jig and wrap head first like that, it kind of gives you an indication that you're, you may be dialed in on the color for the day, or at least for the hour. On Mille Lacs, there's just a ton of these fish right now. This is what they're calling the 2013 year class that everyone's talking about, and uh, that's you can expect to catch a lot of those, but what people aren't really talking about is there is a lot more fish in this lake than the 2013 year class. There's literally a plethora of fish from that 21 to 27 inch range, but there's also a ton of fish in that, you know, 17, 17 to 20, 21 range as well. Like a lot more than there's probably ever been in the whole system. So that's what we're kind of targeting today. And that's why Mille Lacs, that's why you always hear the buzz last summer, the summer before, is Mille Lacs is literally the Twin Cities playground when it comes to catching walleye. There he is. There you go. Had to catch up with him. He kind of came back on you, I Swam think. Swam in a circle. Yeah. Come here, fish. Not a, not a giant by any means. This is a good fish. It's a, probably Oop. a 20. Yeah, we'll take him. Nice. Right in the front of his mouth. I'll go get you another sucker. You're a good man. All right, get that guy out of there. Yeah, that's a nice, uh, you know, 20 inch fish. Eating up those sucker minnows as they seem to do everywhere here across the ice belt this time of year. Fire that guy back. Goodbye, and away he goes. You know we're using anything from, that's probably about a four and a half inch sucker minnow. Using them up to about six, seven inches. Get pretty meaty at that size. 
for whatever reason, early ice like this, I'm sure it's just because the fish are more, more active. They're so much more willing to take a big bait. And we just have a lot better luck and catch bigger fish on suckers versus fat heads or smaller shiners. I'm just letting this eye fish pro go and the one just grabbed it. Give him a little extra time with these minnows and it's running. And I got him. Good work, Will. Now I got to deal with a transducer and an eye fish pro. That's an unusual situation. <laughs> oh, oh. And that's a good fish. It's a little bit better. Look at that. So this is the first fish. Well, the second fish, because I just caught one. The first time I've caught fish jigging with an eye fish pro. You just checking bottom? Well, I used uh, just to double check the bobber stop and I watched him come right up and pop it. That's cool. And that's two that I've had a fish hit it before I was able to get the, uh, the iFish Pro reset. I started last week's show doing the exact same thing, two fish back to back. Yeah, not, and that's not quite a, that big though. That's a 22, 21, 22 inch fish. Brought you some minnows. If we were keeping fish, this one might be a keeper. There's your eater. Strikemaster introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strikemaster. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all-new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All Crossover Shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip up fishing. Look at that. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. There he is. Oh, Feels like a decent one. Thank you. Oh. This is nowhere near as big as the one I lost you just a little bit ago. Was that a nice one? Yeah, it was a real good fish. That's not a bad fish. I'll take it. Hey, hey. Yeah. The tingler. Yep. Glow goldfish. And they are just glow gold goldfish sucking it up. It seems like they're up a little bit higher. All right. A little bit up on the shelf. There we go. Yeah. 17, 18 inch fish, super aggressive. This lake is uh, blessed right now with a lot of different year classes of fish, not just big fish. Uh, we're catching some smaller ones too, smaller than this. I'll fire that guy back. See you bye. All right. Yeah, basically that standard one, two punch that we use so often here at In-Depth Outdoors early in the ice fishing season. Uh, big sucker minnows under iFish Pros. And they're going to be jigging either like a jig and wrap uh, or a small spoon, like a 1 8 ounce tingler spoon. And that's what I'm doing right now. I may experiment with colors throughout the day as we get more light, but right now it's at uh, Glow Goldfish. On the back side, it's just plain orange. It's got some glow to it in the front. And we are tipping that with a minnow head to get a fresh one, just for a little scent. So what we've got here is the third time that I've gotten hit while I was setting an iFish Pro. And this one's taking a little line. 
And now, we're gonna cross his eyes as soon as he gets tight here. Got another fish. He's getting some shoulders. Oh, he's just a little guy. But a little guy in terms of what we're catching today is about 19 inches. So when you come to Mille Lacs, you're catching dozens of uh, 18 to 20 inch fish and it's a heck of a time. Oh, there he goes. We got Man. another flag. This fish is just flying. I want to get out ahead of it a little bit. Get prepared here. Fine. <laughs> Good fish, James. Not a giant. It just was flying line off the spool. All that line ripped off the spool. That's a nice fish right there. Got one barb from the outside in. Take a look at that. It must have been carrying that sucker sideways in its mouth like this when I set the hook. It just came back into the fish. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. That's probably another one of those uh, eater fish. I've kept perch already this winter, so I don't need to take fish home with me, so it's gonna go back. Definitely a chunky one. All right, there we go. See you later. Oh, he hit that twice. Gonna do a reset, bounce off the bottom, and then come back up. There we go. That works more times than not if you miss a fish a couple of times and just lay that spoon right on the bottom. Especially if you're out here in sand, you know, you're not gonna make a big poof on the bottom. You know, you're not gonna disturb it much, but just resetting, I call it just resetting, resetting your presentation. That guy's got some spunk in him. The fish lost interest, so I dropped it on the bottom, picked him back up, and uh, he came up and just smacked it. So here's one of my favorite colors out here of all time. Here's a tingler spoon, and that pattern there in this perch color is about as minnowy as you're gonna get in any type of color. It's got a big silver back, it's got greens in there, it's got a nice tiger pattern. And these walleyes out here are eating two things. You know, they're eating perch and they're eating tulipy minnows. So that's why, you know, we kind of key in. That one's got the best of both worlds. It's got silver, it's got perch in it, and it puts walleyes on top of the ice. I'm gonna get this one back and back down the hole. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we make the longest lasting, most dependable enclosed trailers on the road today. By building quality, our competition just can't match. Our all aluminum construction gives you a heavy duty but lightweight trailer that can handle your tough hauls. Aluma trailers are engineered for ease of use with you in mind. All backed by our unbeatable five year warranty. Work or play, get there with Aluma. We're in it for the long haul.
There he is. <sighs> Starting to get aggressive again, Brad. Like it? Like you want me to grab your unit or you got it? I got it. All right. <laughs> that ain't bad. Come here, buddy. <laughs> All right. Switch back to Glow Goldfish. That's that kind of orangey looking perch color. Kind of anticipating that lower light bite, having these fish come in and get real aggressive. And that fish, no hesitation, which I like. All right, nice. We've basically caught fish every five to 10 minutes, start to finish today. Pretty rare deal. But the only thing we're missing is one of those bigger fish that Mille Lacs is kind of known for. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen yet. Come on. Oh, I just love that. You know, they act all aggressive. They come up, they yo-yo up, down, up, down, up, down. This fish is literally letting me know if I don't catch him, you better change your color, mister. <laughs> you've been warned. Yeah, you've been warned about, this is about the fifth time, there we go. <laughs> You've been warned. Whoa, other way, other way, other way. You knitting a sweater over there? Knitting a sweater and thank the Lord I had a good hook set on that little monkey right there. Even though I caught that fish right there and he yo-yoed, I mean, I yo-yoed him, man, <laughs> five, six times. They like these natural baits during the day. You know, they just, I mean, you can see where he hooked it. He just beaked it. But even though I caught this fish, I worked him really hard. I'm probably gonna switch to the glow goldfish like James is using, or I'm gonna use, go to a pink UV or, or orange UV. It is only gonna get better from here on out. I mean, we worked, we started up shallow, worked this whole area out deeper, and now we're just recoiling back slowly but surely back to the iFish Pro over there that, I don't even know what it's at now, 15? It's nuts. 15, that that is Rally Point iFish Pro, is what yeah. that is. Now the big question is, what happened to the iFish Pro? Oh, there. Oh, <laughs> shoot, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> nuts. iFish Pro is up again. I literally said to Brad, what's happened to the iFish Pro? Because we haven't had a fish now for 15 minutes. Starting to pick up a few on spoons. And of course, it'd be kind of nice if the iFish Pros were popping at the same pace. As soon as I mentioned it, boom, there it was. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> money, money. We have caught so many fish today. Something you guys didn't see on camera. We had uh, four dozen suckers to start the day. Will had to leave <laughs> to go get more. We had to go get another four dozen suckers. <laughs> you ever, you ever want to see a kind of a, a down look on someone's face? Hey, you got to go get more suckers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, <laughs> we were anticipating the need for it uh, here towards sundown, and I think we're about ready to see why. You can go through a lot of bait when the fish just never stop biting. I mean, when you get a bite window, that's one thing. Right there. Oh, yeah. Money, money. Well, not too very long ago, I said the only thing we had to get to do today was to stick a big pig, and this has been an awesome day of fishing. So I guess there you go. I'm done, right? <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna keep fishing because we're gonna ow, we're gonna be in for some more of these. That and is a really fat fish, James. Eating good in the neighborhood. Here we go. What a dandy. Awesome. All right. That's enough of the ogling. We'll let her go. Okay. Thank you. Big mamacita. Yeah. Perfect day right there. Catch fish every 10 minutes, start to finish. Cherry on top. We're not done. We're, no, we are not. Not even close. I'm gonna grab a middle and reset. This hole's been good for us too. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's spot on the spot ID, we head to central Minnesota where we're gonna be targeting Mille Lacs Lake. But before we get into where we fished, I wanna talk just a little bit about how anglers would typically approach this body of water at this time of the year. And that is most anglers find it's a race to get to the mud flats. I'm gonna zoom here in on the Fish Smart app and you start to get a feel for all the structure out there in the middle of the lake. But there's a reason that we're not getting out there this time of the year. And that's because out here, 
we've got real active cracks. Take a look at the satellite imagery and you're gonna see some uh, real huge chunks of ice that are cracked and broken up. Very unsafe travel out to this portion of the lake right now. In fact, there's no way we're gonna even attempt it. So before you go out, make sure you check with the bait shops or resorts in the area uh, that are allowing you access to the lake because this part of the lake right now is not safe. So where we fished, tight to shore along the north end of the lake, northwest corner. And what you're gonna notice here is it's a very sharp break line coming off the shallow shoreline. Uh, everything inside that real dark line there is eight feet or less. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. And you'll see that as you work along that real sharp break line, you can see we're in 15, 16, 17 foot of water. That's where that real sharp break is kind of uh, accentuated. And from there, things slow down, start to slowly taper out to the main body of the lake. So what we were doing early and late in the day, we were right at the base of that break in 17 foot of water. And these huge schools would move parallel to the break line and filter through our spread. And then as you got later into the day, we had to push out, move away from that sharp break line out towards deeper water, 21, 22, 23 feet. By making that small move, we were able to stay on those fish all day long. And as we got to about 2, 2.30 in the afternoon, we just reversed our steps and worked right back up to that 17 foot of water at the base of the break. And just following that very simple strategy, we were able to stay on a great bite all day long. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. There we go. I just moved in because James and Brad have had a run. See you later, sweetheart. Fish! There I think this go. is a good one. That ain't bad. You got a couple like that earlier, Will. I thought it was going to be bigger. False alarm, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye, buddy. Something just popped over here. Oh! Literally. How did you How see did it you before do that, it James? popped? They're both popped. Are they? Got him! We are ripple. <laughs> Not a giant. Absolutely woofing up that glow goldfish. This one's taking line. Oh, he's got a little better head shake. Future stock right there. Oh, it's a trip. How's yours, Brad? <laughs> Good fish. Oh, there we go. Nice. If you guys didn't catch that, what happened was, <laughs> James says one popped, which was this one. And as he said that, the second one went. As I came by James, he set the hook on another walleye, and <laughs> me and Will got a pair of twins. Yeah, I think these ones came right together. <laughs> All right, and that is a double release. <laughs> Thanks, job, Will. <laughs> Brad, this is crazy. I've got another one. There is a pod. We are This sitting. is a better fish. It's not quite the same small one that we've been getting the yo-yo. I don't think it's a monster. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's a pretty gold fish on the glow goldfish. No, this is a little better fish, and I switched over to the larger spoon as well, Brad, and as you can see, he's got that buried in his mouth. That is, you know, I always advise my customers, it's upsized when we get to the witching hour. All right, we're gonna let this one go. And see if we can catch one or two more here before the sun is completely gone. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. Big fish? Yes, sir, <laughs> bigger fish. <laughs> you don't have a lot of a donut there to no, work with. I didn't want to move out of this hole. I don't blame you. Been good. He should be right there anytime soon. 10 pounder isn't gonna fit through there. There's your fish. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. It has been, I've, just, I've had an enjoyable day out here, you know? This is what, this is what Relax has to offer. And I mean, how can you argue with, as you said, today, a barrel full of these? It's, it's so rare to basically catch fish as you intend, you know, like the plan. We had a plan, right? Yep. Uh, everything has gone to plan. We've caught fish from start to finish. That almost never happened. No. It's like write it down on the calendar so you don't forget that date. Because this, is, this has been one of those days. Have we caught eight and 10 pounders? No. We have caught so many fish. Had a ton of fun chasing the iFish pros. A lot yeah. of fish jigging. Perfect day. It's absolutely perfect day. So that brings us to the end of today's show. And let me tell you, by the time that sun finally set over the horizon, all three of us, were as exhilarated as we were exhausted. It was an incredible bite. Very rare for anyone to experience a bite like this where you catch fish literally from start to finish all day long and even that much more special to get it on film to share with everybody here today. So if you're looking to get in on a really good early season walleye bite, uh, make sure you give Brad Hawthorne a call. He's a fantastic guide on Mille Lacs Lake and a really fun guy to fish with. So before we go, I want to remind everybody we're doing the Dream Trip giveaway. To get entered, go to indepthoutdoors.com, look for the Dream Trip giveaway icon, get yourself entered for a chance to fish and film with the crew here at In Depth Outdoors. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.